Uh, Jed, uh, good to see you. What are the key things we should be uh, we should be looking out for here, particularly as it relates uh, to, to, to battery updates? So there's going to be a lot of info, um, as we uh, talked about. There's going to be a lot of technical info around improving the cathode, improving the anode, um, probably some different sourcing relationships. For us, the key is, um, do they continue on the road to high performance, which would be high density uh, batteries, or do they um, are there signals that they're pivoting to low density, like what they have in China? And that will give a uh, indication in terms of what we should expect, whether or not they're facing more competitive threats um, or whether or not they still have a lot more runway with some uh, presumably new technology that they'll be announcing. Musk tweeted about it, saying that, that what they're going to announce in terms of production won't really reach serious high volume production, he says, until 2022. How disappointing <laughs> was that? We saw the stock sell off 5.6 percent relative to where investors' expectations are and the people you're talking with, your clients? Well, I, I mean, in all of these events, you have a bunch of hype. Uh, then you have Elon that comes out. You have a bunch of followers. It's almost like a cult-type uh, situation where he talks about a lot of things. Not all of those, in fact, few of them actually end up coming true. So, again, we think the devil's in the detail. I think there will be signs in terms of what's going on um, but I don't see this as, uh, you know, at face value that if he comes out and announces a million mile battery and this new Roadrunner technology and says he's going to be putting it in in six months. I don't think many people or investors would have believed that anyhow. Um, so I don't see it as, uh, you know, that big a deal. Jed, do, does the analyst community and investors want to see them license their battery technology to others in the future or do they want to see them keep it uh, exclusively for Tesla cars? Um, I think if you're an owner of, uh, it's a good question, actually. I think if you're an owner of Tesla shares, you probably want to, um, even though there's the potential of licensing to drive higher value dollars in, in, into a larger pie, um, my guess is you're probably going to be mixed. I mean, I don't have a good answer for you on that one. So, so where are you right now on the stock, given the tremendous run-up that it continues to enjoy? See some slight pullbacks here amid the September volatility, but what do you, where how do you justify any of the valuation that we're at right now? It's tough for a lot of these names. You've say, seen fundamentals decouple from stock prices, but we're at 442 for a price target. Uh, it's based on an aggressive 55 times our uh, pro forma 22, um, which is relatively rich. Um, uh, you know, our strategy has been for clients to look at the indications because not all of the supply chain names um, that sell into this uh, trend um, are seeing the same benefit. So if you look at the um, uh, uh, the ability to kind of pick through who should be benefiting from a move to some of these technologies, whether it's silicon based, whether it's a silicon carbide inverter, whether it's a high density or low density um, uh, battery and what does that mean in terms of the lithium, et cetera. There's a lot of ways to make money on the trend for clients, and that's what we've been uh, pitching. Uh, what do you make about the pullback? Uh, has it pulled back enough, the stock? Uh, and what are the drivers over the next uh, six months? I mean, you've seen an incredible run up this year. We would, we would want to see uh, at least a 20% pullback uh, to get more aggressive on the name and to look at what's being said. The challenge is, you know, this thing moves around. So so uh, COVID presented the excellent opportunity as well as when we um, were bullish at the beginning of this year. And I think uh, we're known as the bull on uh, Tesla. Um, that was a great time to get involved. Um, we probably went to a hold uh, prematurely, but it's always difficult to top tick uh, markets. We'd want to see a decent sized pullback before getting more aggressive. Jed, thanks for joining us. You're welcome.